This is Molly. These are Molly's social networks. Molly is a lot like you and me. Like most of us, Molly likes to keep her friends and followers updated on the important things happening in her life. I just took a fuzzy quiz to find out how many kids I'll have based on the Chipotle burrito I ordered. You should find out too. Teacher just gave me a horrible grade on my exam. Hashtag cash me outside. I literally can't get over this dog filter. <laughs> it's so hot <laughs> outside today. Here's a pic of me with the sun's rays on my face. But Molly doesn't just post the important things online. Molly has made a habit of posting everything online. To Molly, her social networks have become like the diary she never had. Molly just retweeted, all I ever think about are his eyes from cute boy tweets. <laughs> Molly Martin and Brandon Clark are officially friends. Hashtag MCM. He's all right. I guess. <laughs> Insert heart eyes emoji. Here's a pic of Brandon and I's bitmoji surrounded by a heart. We also have a 15 day streak. <laughs> yep, Molly posts everything. The good, the bad, and the TMI. Molly is attending awesome graduation kegger 2K17, and that's had a beer called Beer Pong, and Jello shows to realize some interest and activities. Molly started following at Trippy420 and at Drunk Thoughts. Turned! Molly even has pictures of her and her friends doing inappropriate things and proof of her underage drinking. Tag! Hashtag TBT to that lit party last night with my girls. What Molly doesn't realize is that the life she leads needs to change, starting with her online image. Molly, is this what the girl saved me? Um, no. Good. Delete! Delete! Protect the tweet! Edit Insta captions! Ah! I think we can be friends anymore. What Molly posts online started to affect other parts of her life as well, like when she tried to get an after school job. Molly had a good resume all ready to go for her big interview. The resume had wonderful things to say about Molly and made Molly seem like a great candidate for the job. <laughs> Molly thought she was a shoe in after the way the interview went, but once back in his office, the boss found some unsettling things online. Molly's online image was one their company did not want to be associated with. Molly also applied for online for scholarships to her dream school in the fall. And although the interview went well again and the resume impressed the scholarship review committee director, once her profiles were pulled up online, it was clear Molly didn't hold to the standards and character they looked for in their applicants. After Molly's parents found out about after Molly's parents found out, it was clear she was grounded and had her car taken away for the rest of her senior year. Ouch. And when her coach found out about the parties she'd been attending, she was suspended for the rest of the season. Yet Molly continued to use the internet as her uncensored diary until one day. Hey Molly, how's it going? They got too good. Yeah, I saw your post on Twitter. Have you ever thought about not posting everything online? How else am I supposed to express myself? <laughs> You can express yourself, but that doesn't mean everyone needs a play-by-play -play of your life. And about that party you were suspended for, have you ever thought about not drinking? You should think about it. Well, I'm gonna go grab some Chinese with some teammates and watch a movie. That could be cool. Yeah? Yeah, the not drinking. And the toning it down online. That could be cool. And so Molly learned an important lesson. While social networks are fun and great for making connections and communicating, they aren't a diary, because some things are better kept offline. 